I've mentioned this concept and explained it a little bit before on this channel, mostly in random podcasts, but it's a concept I feel justifies a better explanation. What is the Otaku Hero's Journey? The Otaku Hero's Journey, a term coined by Beatrice, the Golden Witch of Ig Studios, formerly known as the channel Digibro, refers to a specific type of narrative that is really common in anime. She talked a lot about this idea, but the first and best reference to it on the channel was in her video about No Game No Life, which lays out the idea more broadly, link in the description. This video is meant to summarize that idea in a more general context, something like a literature review. The most succinct summary of the Otaku Hero's Journey that I've seen is in a clip from episode 5 of Dr. Stone. Check out this psychology quiz. There's been a tragic accident, and between your friend, your lover, and yourself, only one of you can be saved. Who would you choose? Uh, I think I'd get stuck picking between my friend and my lover. Might pick yourself in the heat of the moment. How could anyone make that choice? This quiz of yours seems kinda nasty. I choose everyone. Uh, I'd look for a fundamental rule. <laughs> that it let me save all of us. As the hero's journey part implies, it's about the main characters trying to reach some goal, accomplish some desire, or overcome some kind of adversity, with end result changing the characters meaningfully in some way. The otaku part is where this concept gets a bit more specific and deviates from the hero's journey structure you all learned about INCESSANTLY in 7th grade. How does adding otaku to this idea change it though? Otaku is generally defined as a person who is really into anime being knowledgeable and deeply involved in the medium. It's a subset of culture related to these people who mostly watch anime, read manga, etc. Being a niche hobby, although it's increasingly grown in popularity, it has traditionally been a medium seen as something for nerds or outcasts, but over the last few years has gotten a much better reputation. The depths of the genre have always been weird though, leading to insane rabbit holes. Therefore, the idea of otakus being loners and outcasts is inseparable and important to the point. Because many otaku are weirdos, they have to work hard to understand and fall into social norms since they're outcast due to their failure to do so in the first place. Many stay odd, but many also become relatively normal and gain a strong understanding of how flexible these social constructs are, ultimately being relative values that aren't objectively correct. A lot of this understanding comes from the media they consume, showing many different ways of life and worlds where norms heavily differentiate. This is part of the reason why so many anime depict really out there stuff and why so many anime fans don't even bat an eye at it. They're highly desensitized to weird shit and it just doesn't bother them, which can be good and bad. So what does the otaku context add to the hero's journey exactly? The understanding of social constructs and norms as ultimately relative values that need to be changed according to the situation is a lot of what they add. Due to this perspective, a big part of this supposed otaku ideology is creativity and imagining a better world in some way. It's easy for those who are excluded from the current system to imagine a system that works better, or at least realize the need for it. But instead of focusing necessarily on the self, these people have been helped to realize these ideas and perspectives through other creators and media. Therefore, it can be said that the otaku ideology is about how it's important to get every person's perspective to create a more perfect system and to not leave out others. It's a very inclusive way of thinking. Beatrice talks about anime generally depicting the otaku hero as a pair, one half being the mad scientist, who is overly charismatic and creative, seeing to it that grandiose goals are realized, while the other half is the human calculator, who works out the logistics and proves the mad scientist ideas to the people. This emphasizes the focus on gathering more perspectives, as a duo is needed in the first place to start the hero's journey. So really, the otaku adds to the hero's journey an emphasis on a broader social perspective, understanding that social norms are relative values, and using this and large amounts of creativity aided by the arts and sciences to envision a world that is better. Hence, Senku and Dr. Stone aiming towards saving everybody. It would be easy to only save a few, but he cares about saving everyone rather than a few because he knows all types of people are necessary for progress. The only way to do that is to gather as much manpower and as many different perspectives as possible in the first place. This is what's at the heart of the otaku hero's journey, and once you start looking for it, you will find it in tons of anime. Hopefully this has helped clear up the term a bit and will give you some context for some videos that I'm going to release soon. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good one.